Hello, and welcome back to Main Assembly. Been a little while, but I am back with some more challenges. And we are on Ship It, which involves shipping things, I imagine. First one is called Box Loader. It says, load delivery boxes into the container. How many can you manage? One star for move boxes into the container, two for collect star, and throw at least 16 boxes into the water. Welcome to the dark side, the natural habitat of the forklift. You will often be called upon to help transport olive products to be shipped worldwide. This is fun and satisfying work for any AI. So, ah, there is a star just here. How do you even, how do you get up here? Do you have to like off-road your way around there? I shall probably just go and try and do that first with just some random vehicle and then try and get the forklift stuff done. I found this thing lying around. I think this might be what I was using to do the other challenges. So um, I'll just use this. Um, yeah, I can't remember some of the controls. So yeah, you're going to have to live with me for getting half the controls. Let's see. This step is bigger than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, um, jet thrust is is quite good for climbing. Although we shouldn't need anyway after I've got this star. So there we go. Not quite sure how you can get out onto that air. That unlocks some servos. That's pretty nice. And now I'm taking the short route back. Okay, that is multi-concave. So let's make let's make something new. And how about I just completely reinvent the forklift? This seems to be a forklift. It seems to be very small, but that's just how it works. Also, glass apparently is completely transparent. So this thing looks a bit weird, but sure. Let's just see if I can get this. So I should be able to drive underneath it. Ah, those aren't quite wide enough. Ah, <laughs> it's so small. I forget how small this thing is. Now, can I put this? Oh, um, it turns sharper than I forgot how sharp it turns. It turns very sharply. So now, I lift it up, I put it down. Right, that's good. Now I need to pick up this box here. Uh, we might be too wide to fit in the thing. Also, we don't seem to have the power for that. Hopefully work now. Also, just need to test. Do I actually fit in here? I do, that is good. <laughs> it's, it's quite close, but I, at least I fit. Without knocking them over. There we go. It actually works now. See why are forklifts so big? <laughs> like who need who needs one of those big forklifts? When you can just do this. There we go. Now I just have to throw some in the water. And spin around. Where am I gonna get ah, there's some over there. Just over there. Throw those ones in the water as well. Now, how do I get these to go into the water? My wide field base is not entirely helpful. There we go, there's eight of them. Trying to navigate. Rear wheel steering is very confusing, okay. It just seems unnatural. <laughs> I mean, unless you operate forklifts all day, then you might be used to it, but I don't, so it seems very strange to me. <laughs> Why can't I pick these ones up? There we go. Oh, um, I better grip on them than that. This one? Yeah, alright, let's just put them down and actually hold them, because that was a bit sketchy. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh no. Can I just shove it? Into the water. 
No, I guess I'm gonna have to come back for it. Let me go, please. Can you go, please? Yes. There we go. And I guess I just shove this one in. There we go. Oh, I now have to collect a star for it. Can't it just give me the star? Because this thing's quite wide, I'll be honest. There we go. Nice. Now I just have to go and put it in the parking. <laughs> Dummy falls over. And there we go. <laughs> there we go. So let's have a look at the next one. Okay, um, now there's going to be train tracks. Well, I mean, there were train tracks. Now there's going to be trains on it. That's that's really nice. You must be the only one carrying boxes around here. The cargo trains always run on time. But occasionally they do forget to transmit schedule of dates. Look both ways before crossing. Ah, by look both ways it means what go into the tunnel. <laughs> how, how do I get in there? I mean I guess if I move this box here out of the way, I might be able to shove something in there. Can I actually like go in the side? Like a yeah, I can. Except the fact they're on top of each other. Put those in there. Just, just need to get these out of the way. Yes, I think I'm going to need a long pokey arm for this one. Wait for the train to go past. Oh, it's a hype train, that's funny. Right, so to look both ways, do I just need to like... Okay, I can't drive on the tracks. This thing is just not the right shape. I tried to drive on the tracks, okay. It's not my fault. Right, let's get these boxes and then I'll attempt to look both ways. The box. Uh, pipe train's in the way. No! Stop falling off! I mean, that's six of them, so if I just encourage these two. I can complete the objective. Do I just have to drive down the train tracks? Or get pushed down the train tracks? This works too. Okay, apparently it doesn't work. It deleted it! Um, <laughs> let me just get back that other bot I had. So now, can, can this thing with its massive chunky tyres drive down the tracks. Oh, this is so bouncy. And get this. Yeah, that is just a normal star thing. There's a bit of ground up forklift there. Now I just have to get over here before another train comes. Yeah, there we go. Now I'm going to get ground up by the train. Aha! I have found ways of avoiding the train. Um, now I want to know, can I even do this? I think the answer to that is no. <laughs> it's all fine. Perfectly fine. And now I just have to sort out this mess. Mm. Boxes are too big. And just get in there. Hmm. Right. Yeah, in there. <laughs> that was a bit sketchy, and now I'm actually stuck. <laughs> and there we go. Right then, don't know how, whether I have time to do another one, but I'm going to do it anyway. Bring it down. Can you get the delivery boxes down from the shelf? Think about the height and balance. Oh no. When space is limited, humans will use advanced technology, such as shells. This can be a problem for smaller robots, but pistons can extend the reach of any vertically challenged mechanism. Have stuff on there. There is. What does home delivery mean? Do we. Do I just have to go over here? Or do I have to, like, take a box over there? Okay, I guess I'm gonna need a forklift again, then. Also, I just noticed it says collect the star. 
Where is the star? I guess I'm not three-starring this one then, because, as I said, how do I get over there? So how high does this go? Not high enough. He press the B to exit build mode, and that literally exits build mode, and it's not very helpful. Lift this up. It's a bit iffy, isn't it? Yeah, um, it needs the extra... Uh, yes, it needs the extra five, there we go. Now I've my iffy forklift to try and do something useful. There we go. And let me press that one to attempt that. That's not working. That's also not supposed to happen. I mean, I guess I can just go put this one in on its own. Um, get off my thing. There we go. Right, now I have to go to the other one. No, I will not be careful. Go away. So, I made the piston just this one, just not our other one. Just go up more. <laughs> See if up more makes it work better. Seem to have angered physics. I think it's these stupid small pistons are all floppy, but well, my logic skills are terrible. Ah! Yeah, small pistons are floppy. Like, like that's, that's, that's utter uselessness. Wow, that, that doesn't work at all. <laughs> um, right, back to bigger pistons, I guess, then. So now I have the big piston and one small piston, and the big piston has a long range, so it can do all the 150, and then that can just do the little bit. Now we just go and pick this up. In. Up. Back. That is very, very iffy. In fact, I think I'll just lower that down. Oh, I need to put it the other way around because I can't be in there with it. I can just sub it in. That may have missed a little. There we go. Oh, hover pads. Right, now I just have to crash into that, apparently. If I knew how to make logic in this game, I would make it so I could just customise. Well, I just press like the. I have shift and control for up and down. And if I knew how to make logic, I would just make the shift makes it go up and control makes it go down, rather than having, rather than having, just having two separate things. Why does shift make it go up and down? Let's get that out of there. And we lower this down here. And we lower that, and then we just get a better grip on it. Just crash that around, it's fine. This one's going for home delivery. I hope someone wanted more than half a box. Okay, they've all fallen off. They're not all supposed to fall off. I'm supposed to, like, you know, keep at least one of them. Why don't I just shove a box to the house? In fact, I can even put it in the box grabby thing. Like, I assure you, there is, that is exactly why this vehicle is this shape, most definitely. There we go, that is, that is the correct thing. Yeah, it appears I can literally drive it underwater. The thrust doesn't work, and it does wheelies the whole time, and doesn't turn. I guess we just do wheelies then. Okay, I thought it was going to be easy for a second there. Turns out we just end up driving to the bottom of the ocean. Right, let's try and actually take the shortest route instead then. If I just like send it off the end here, does this work? I mean, I'm fairly close, right? Yeah, and there's the star, and now I just have to get back to the parking area. Okay, there's a very there's a very quick way. There we go. Right, now I most definitely have to finish up the episode here because I've been recording for an hour and nine and a half minutes. So that's three of those done. So thank you for watching. 
Don't forget to subscribe here, go subscribe now, and until next time, goodbye. Thank you.